Hello everyone, so I'm on my way to work, I'm next to a road, so sorry for all the noise on the background. So my work's in the city, which is a half hour drive by car and an hour and a half by public transport. And my boyfriend needs a car this week, so I am stuck taking the bus and the tram. So I thought it would be a good idea to kind of talk about public transport within Melbourne. Um, my first thing would be try to get a car. <laughs> if you're here for a longer period of time, try to get a car, because public transport is just not great. Um, even within the city, uh, like as I said, it takes me an hour longer to get where I need to be because the connections just aren't very direct. Um, and if you are more rural area, it's going to be even worse. <laughs> so the first thing you need to get if you want to take the bus or the tram is a my key. Um, this is just a key like we have in the Netherlands, the OFA chip card. You tap on and you tap off on the bus and when you go with the tram, you just tap on and you don't have to tap off. The most annoying thing about these things is that you can't buy them on the bus themselves. So you have to go to a store that sells them. I'm not pretty sure I'll, I'll list them here where you can get them because there's specific places and here in where I live there's nothing nearby so I actually lost mine this is my boyfriend's uh, and I need to get another one which I can't do anywhere near here I literally need to take a bus to get there so it's <laughs> a bit annoying you can either charge the card when you're at a train station so they have like machines for it or when you get onto the bus you can pay cash and they will put that on your card uh, you can't pay card with the, your a uh, visa card or whatever on the bus needs to be cash another very annoying thing about it so it's not an ideal system um, but <laughs> yeah anyway the fares are a bit annoying as well because it doesn't really go by distance but by tap on and then if it's, if it's within two hours it's full 40 no matter how much distance you travel I don't know it's a, very, it's a little bit complicated it took me a little while to figure it out as well also this trip is already starting off well because my bus is late <laughs> You probably don't hear me very well right now, but to be honest, I don't pay much attention on the bus. I just uh, read my book and the hour and a half goes by pretty quickly. So that's what I'll be doing now. <laughs> a little bit differently than the bus you only touch on uh, and there's a free tram zone in the city center as well as you can see on the map here it's the green square so the map's quite simple uh, as long as you know at what stop you are and what stop you need to get off it's really easy to read so tram stops are a bit ambiguous <laughs> sometimes they're like in the middle of the road and it's like a separate stop and so just safe to uh, go and walk there but sometimes there's a stop where I just got off um, they stop basically on the second lane so when you get off you have to look out for traffic coming from the first lane even though they are supposed to stop obviously but you, you just never show up. so always make sure that you check before you jump off the the tram and when you want to get on that tram you have to like indicate to the tram quite clearly that you want to get on because they need to stop in the middle of the street for you that's a little bit of a thing that you need to know about trams here Anyway, I hope this was a little bit helpful. Uh, just a short little video about public transport. I'm on my way to work. I just have to work in like 10 minutes. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!